Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Ryuho and Zetsue, I, I think that's how you pronounce those names, I'm sorry if I messed them up, uh, from the anime that I don't know how to pronounce either, S. Cry, Ed, Cried, Scried, I don't know, you guys can tell me. Still haven't gotten around to watching it, need to, but I uh, haven't yet. So, anyway, you get a two-pack of figures, pretty much. I'm guessing it's probably close to the price of one, because the second one's kind of accessory-ish. He's a little bit more basic, but still, it's pretty nice. And it's a really cool pack, and there's some cool accessories. So, let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 16 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to well, a little bit over 6 inches, right about there. And then this guy stands a little bit shorter, about 5 inches, which makes him eh, about 12 and a half, closer to 13 centimeters. So definitely a little bit of a size difference. Like I said, this one's kind of like an accessory, but it, it's got pretty decent articulation in paint for an accessory. So speaking of paint, there is some shading throughout the purple on this guy, and most of it's pretty clean where the line work is. Same thing for this, it's uh, pretty clean. The black to white and then the purple stripes and stuff. It all looks very nice, so they're aesthetically very pleasing figures. As far as accessories go for this guy, we have one interchangeable face. We have the standard face, and then the one where he's yelling and his hair is kind of messed up. We have six total hands, two fist hands that come on him in the package, two style pose hands, and then two wide open hands. For the second guy, we have an interchangeable faceplate, so it kind of covers less of his face. Then you have one that has both faceplates full on, and it just hides the face completely. Then you have three different interchangeable pieces for either side of his collar, which I guess they're just like straps of some kind, but they just peg in and you can have different looking ones. I don't know what they're for or what they do, but you do have those. That's it. So not the most accessories, unless you count the whole second figure as an accessory, which is pretty cool. So you get a bunch of stuff in the package. We're going to run through the articulation on this guy, though it's fairly basic and it's pretty well designed. You have your ball hinge at the top of the neck, which would be fine, except the hair does stick down pretty low, so it's a little bit limiting, but you can move the head around pretty well. And this is technically just a floating soft piece, so you can move the neck around a little bit too, and you really shouldn't have too much of an issue. These shoulder pads are hinged, so they will get out of the way if you need them to, but you uh, probably don't need to do too much other than raise the arm like that, so that's okay. And then you can move the arm around pretty well otherwise. They do get in the way some, and it looks pretty goofy as you try to move the arm forward, so... I don't know, it definitely could be a better design, I think. Maybe if it was just a soft piece or, I don't know, it's not great, but it's not bad. And then inside there, you have a little bit of a butterfly joint, which works well enough, I guess. It helps the arm move around, but it's not going to get it around the chest. So I'm not really sure what it's there for. Then lastly, you have your butter, your butterfly. I just said that, your ball hinge for the shoulder, which moves very nicely, full rotation, and you get your bicep swivel out of that as well. So it works It works well enough, but this shoulder pad situation is just not great. Double jointed elbow works really nicely, a little bit shy of 180. For the wrists, you have your ball hinge, and they're, they're kind of recessed, so they don't have the greatest range, but it's good enough, it's definitely okay. For the torso, upper torso moves around really well on its ball peg. Doesn't rotate quite as well as I'd like, but it leans very, very nicely. This piece is all soft plastic, and it can unsnap from the front and the back, which means it, I don't, I don't see how it's supposed to function. I guess maybe you're just supposed to like lean them, lean them up like this, or maybe take them off completely, though it's part of the jacket. So I don't know what's going on, but they're bulky and they fall off very easily, and it's not a great situation. But they do just peg in back here, so yeah, I don't know. It's very, very strange. Then the lower torso is on a ball peg, but you can see there's not much range out of that. It's just going to be a rotation. For the hips, we have the swivel that goes forward, which does give you pretty good range. Goes pretty far back also, and then pretty much all the way out to the side. You can probably go even a little bit further. So full splits, really, and uh, your thigh swivel, so that's good. How's the range with this part on, you're asking? Well, I will answer that for you. Let's peg that all in. Peg this guy in. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It doesn't really want to stay together. It's very soft plastic. It's very, very squishy. So, yeah, I don't really get the benefit. I guess you can just flare it out or not a little bit, but it doesn't really impede the articulation. So, no worries there. For the knees, you get really good range, pretty much the full 180, a little bit less, I guess, but that's okay. And it's not, not a great looking knee joint, but it's functional, so that's okay. And then lastly, we have our full on ball hinge ankle and toe hinge. So, his feet are going to just give you any kind of posability you want. 
not the best range forward and back, but definitely good enough. So this guy's a really solid figure. So if you're interested in this line, then uh, I would say go ahead and pick it up. He's really cool. Now this guy, on the other hand, pretty much accessory status, but he's got a fair bit of a uh, fair bit of articulation for that. This part is hinged, so that'll help the torso move around. Torso moves around very nicely. Doesn't move at the top, just at the just at the waist. The head has double ball peg articulation, so that's pretty good. It's mostly just going to rotate. Can't really do too much else. The hips are on a ball peg, but then you do also have this thigh swivel built in, so it's not bad. You get pretty good range out of it. Single jointed knee, but decent range. A little bit better than 90. Ball peg for the ankle, which lets it move around pretty well. Pretty good range. And then we have a toe hinge, which is actually pretty stiff and nicely designed, other than... It's the kind where you get that little spike that sticks out, and that does get in the way, but it's not bad for an accessory type of character figure. I don't know what the situation is on this. Like I said, I haven't seen the show, but it's cool that it's included, and it's articulated and well-made. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. I think it's a really cool set, and uh, once I get into the show, I may end up picking this up. I just borrowed these from my friend for the review, but uh, I do like it. I think you guys will, too. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any of that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and in the meantime, keep collecting.